Hi, my name is Sabashish. I'm an educator and a long-time free and open source advocate and contributor. I've been leading many initiatives by global nonprofits like Mozilla, Wikimedia Foundation, and the Center for Internet and Society. There are about 39 million visually disabled people in the entire world, and 7.8 million of them live in India, which is the highest. One of the most important tools that they will need to access information is a screen reader. But many Indian languages do not have a free and open source screen reader software with human voice. One of the most important components to build a text-to-speech engine that is used for screen reader software is a library of pronunciation of words in a language. Once you have a library of pronunciation, you can build multiple other machine learning and natural language processing tools. But most importantly, a personal assistant like Siri or Google Assistant. But I guess big corporations like Google or Apple are not gonna make their pronunciation libraries open in the near future. A lack of lost solutions literally stop many innovations that are dependent on a pronunciation library. My own language, Odia, which is not just spoken by over 50 million people across the world, but also one of the three oldest classical languages in the Indian subcontinent, does not have a free audio library. I looked at several free and open source software and found out a simple tool built by Tamil Wikimedia and T. Srinivasan. It's a command line tool that one can use to record a long list of words in any language. After forking his tool a little bit and getting his help to get a feature to review recording before saving, I had my own version of this tool and I named it Kathavidano, which translates to Dictionary of Spoken Words in Odia. But when I started recording with, with the default <laughs> options and hardware, I ended up recording a lot of background noise along with the words. That intrigued me to find out a solution to set up a low-cost home studio and a workflow to create a high-quality audio recording. So I invested for $150 for a studio-quality microphone and created a home studio. This little investment helped me to create a quality that is as good as a professional studio. And post-recording, I used batch processing in Audacity another free and open source software to clean up and make these vocals clear without any kind of background noise. Now, I'm working on a toolkit that anyone can use to set up a home studio, install this tool, and tune their hardware and record words or phrases in their language. In the next tutorial, I will explain how you can record words in your language using this toolkit, and also an iOS-based toolkit that my fellow Wikimedian friend Pratik has built. To see more details, check bit.ly slash k-o-t-h-a Thank you for watching.